Alright, welcome to another Barney cast. Well, that was a weird camera placement. Uh, this game is actually a game of me against uh, Cycle. Now, uh, I am in the Platinum League, but my MMR, which is the ranking, the internal ranking system of uh, Blizzard, is actually somewhere in the mid to high diamond. And the only reason I say that is because in my last couple games, I'm usually playing uh, either top 8 platinum players or uh, uh, 50 to 20 ranked uh, diamond players. So I think I should be moving up soon. Uh, I do play random. so uh, And I do just play for fun, just for the hell of it. Um... And I only play random just because I like to get a feel for all the races. And I don't think it's fun just to limit yourself to one race. Because uh, I feel like uh, it's it becomes work if you try to just become really good. And I know that some people like to do that. Uh, I'm just not one of those types of players. I just like to play for fun. Now, we are in cross positions. Uh, Cycle is a Red Terran and I am a Zerg. Uh, 13 pool. Just because I am not sure what my opponent is doing, and seeing as he's random, I I have no idea what where he is or what's going on. But my scout does go in, trying to pick off the building SCV. Cycle in the meantime has scouted me out. Three SCVs going down, one for the barracks, and my drone is trapped in. A two racks isn't too uncommon. Uh, it's weird that Cycle made this gas. If there's no harvesters, but um, cycle uh, two racks isn't too uncommon. Just on a map where we're in cross positions, it's kind of weird. I do go for the 15 hatch, uh, no gas, just because I see that we are in cross positions, and I it looks like I don't really want to get the speed or any kind of upgrade, just because I don't feel he's gonna try to early aggression. Now my overlords are not in a position to see this uh, this bunker going down, and I don't believe I can see it. Nope, I cannot. Now Cycle should be uh, rallying his two Upgrade his complete. two barracks over in this direction, yes, and he should be producing marines as quickly as possible. Now this uh, bunker did go down fairly early, but since I I have not scouted it and I don't know anything about it, it probably stays up. I played this game a couple weeks ago, so I don't really remember. I just remember I labeled it uh, pretty intense. <laughs> so hopefully it is a good game. Now my overlord should see these uh, marines walking by. So hopefully I pull drones in response. Uh, the first queen did drop a uh, creep tumor. No larva. And yes, I do now see it. I should do try to be uh, kill the marine. And now uh, pull back and kill this uh, SCV because I do not want a second bunker up. But uh, now that he has three Marines here, I should cancel this. Yes, it, good, it does get canceled. But now this is a pretty bad position. I don't believe this is savable. Uh, maybe if the first Queen had injected, it could have been saved with a batch of Lings. But uh, it's too late now. Uh, four marines can just micro and they, they, they are in range of this bunker. Drones are being pulled but drones not fast enough to get them. Uh, this spider crawler will finish and will poke at this bunker but it, I don't think it'll be enough to kill it. Uh, my mineral count is getting really high right now. Uh, should throw down a couple more uh, spider crawlers. Uh, in this kind of situation, it's kind of hard to tell what to do. Ah, uh, these, both these queens are going to get sniped. Don't, gotta pull back. Ah, uh, you don't want to lose queens like that. They're pretty useful right now. Uh, these lings not doing anything. Pretty good Michael, or micro by cycle. Uh, I need to cancel these drones. And I think, uh, this base is just going to be sacrificed. You need to cancel this queen because you also lose this 150 minerals. If it doesn't cancel... Or I believe you lose those minerals. I'm actually not 100% sure. Uh, if you guys know, uh, please uh, put
post below, but I think you lose them. I don't know because when you warp in units, you don't lose them if they get can if the pylon is destroyed. Uh, should cancel this, but uh, didn't. Now cycle is in a position to basically do whatever he wants. He is getting his expansion factory is going up, and two more barracks are being added. Cycle in the meantime has done pretty well, getting his uh, SCVs up, throwing the mill down. He is backing out with his marines and this is a smart choice because you don't necessarily want to press advantage too much especially if you're in a situation where you know you are winning on production tab I do have bathing zest and 12 lings on the way uh, a couple spy crawlers going down just in case uh, he's going for an all-in push but now that I see the bunker going down I I should be pulling back Speed not yet on the way, it should be. I have both my gases up, one only has two. And it looks like Cycle's just gonna turtle up for now, get his marine tank uh, composition going. I, I am getting a lair, so maybe I'm going in for a all in. A baneling all bus all in might work, but. With bunkers up, uh, you could never tell, especially if he has good um, spread. He also does have the capability to produce tanks right now, so any all-in I think would be uh, unmanageable, or it wouldn't be, it wouldn't work as well. Hatchery does go down again. I need to get back, uh, back to macroing. Income tab. Cycle is ahead, and he does have a couple more. Harvesters and me. Scan goes down. He does see everything I have. Probably is going to throw down another bunker. Or make continue to make tanks. And I throw down another hatchery. Now, um, my belief in this kind of situation is if you're down, you either have to do something cheesy like, and get do some counter damage like harass with mutilings like just go one base muta or you just try to get ahead by being risky and in this case being risky is getting a bunch of uh, getting two bases at once I didn't kill that scouting marine because he had low health and now it looks like I'm gonna reposition my zerglings to get map control cycle did cancel these bunkers but I guess uh, with these tanks he should be okay Siege tanks are pretty good against early game Zerg units. Uh, wow, in the food count right now, I'm way behind. Cycle at 76, I'm only at 52. Uh, that seems really bad for me. Banelings being morphed. Uh, Spire about to finish. The third hatch is about to finish as well. Should get a queen over there. Cycle does know about the second hatch being going back up, but he does not know about the third hatch. I would expect Cycle to push out sometime soon. Maybe he's going for the combat shield push, because he does have stim already. What's weird is uh, Cycle doesn't have any medevacs. Usually Terrans will want to get medevacs and do some drop play. Harassing Terrans that can effectively micro and harass are really difficult for Zerg players to hold off. Especially when uh, you drop in the main and destroy some tech structures or like uh, the spawning pool or the spire. It's really annoying for Zerg players to have to remake those. Uh, my first Evo chamber goes down. So far all I've been doing is macroing up but Cycle has been uh, keeping pace with me. Same amount of uh, workers. Gonna kill off this uh, party as well just so that he, he doesn't have map control. Controlling the map is pretty important because it, it not only gives you vision but it it tells you the timings of what your opponent's doing. Like I have this overlord right here and it sees if he has if he's taking his third as well as this Ling who's can see if he's taking this third. Uh, my overlord spread should be better it looks like these overlords are moving out. Uh, overlord speed is a really good really good thing to get and I probably got the wrong upgrade because you normally don't get drop if you 
don't have speed, which is a pretty big error on my part. It looks like Cycle's gonna move out. Uh, my lane going in and scouting. This is pretty good uh, decision by him because he's gonna do, go with a slow push, slowly transferring his tanks forward. But again, it's very odd that he has no medevacs whatsoever. Because medevacs also give you vision of this high ground, maybe kill this these scouting overlords, and they also allow you to do like cute uh, cliff play, where you could seed your tanks on the ground and then move your meta or move your marines up top. It looks like he does scout my units, but that's okay. Because uh, when Terran do scout, use those, use those uh, uh, scans, it also means they are losing their ability to drop meals, so their economy isn't going to be too far ahead of mine. Even though we have the, we're at the same production right now, it seems that my uh, my units are uh, getting gathering minerals faster. Oh, uh, Baneling's going in because they see free marines, but no, can't see the siege tanks back here. These munis should go for some siege tank crash, but it looks like Cycle sees them and he's going to stim and pick off the munis. Kind of bad play. Uh, Cycle in this choke is kind of a bad idea, especially if those Banelings come. Oh, he needs to split the marines. Oh, so many marines going down. No, Banelings are attacking the wrong units. Banelings should have been focused on the marines. Uh... Pretty even trade off. I I don't know. Uh, cycle is ahead in food by 40, so I won't say it's too too even. But um, a couple of his tanks did go down as well as a lot of marines. Cycle also has this backup force that he's not pushing with, which is odd. Uh, army count for cycle 3,000. Uh, food supply is at 130. I am at 90, so 40 down. This is really bad for me. Oh, free tank, free tank kill, he should back out. Uh, again, Banelings on tanks are not a good decision, so I need to have better control of my Banelings. Uh, also, if you notice, I have no hockeys going, which is really bad. I gotta start hockeying those units. Cycle, meanwhile, is getting his third planetary fortress. Good position to hold, because uh, this choke point is really good for his tanks because any zerg units that clump up in this choke point are going to take massive damage a lot of turrets going up for cycle and he's also doing pretty well on his upgrades meanwhile i have zero zero uh mutilus have no upgrades his tanks have one and his marines are one one i am getting my fourth though so Pretty soon, hopefully, I should be able to out macro him if I get more drones. But it looks like I'm producing uh, units right now, just because I'm probably I feel so far behind. A lot of banelings coming in. Uh, I do have a lot of minerals, but you guys gotta understand that uh, usually that won't be the case. It's probably just because I was supply blocked, just because um. Zerg are so larva based and that's why you if you notice uh, recent play a lot of Zergs are getting macro hatches just because they realize that they're they need that uh, excess larva or else they can't uh, keep up with a Terran that just keeps on producing structures or a Protoss that builds infinite warp gates and can warp in anywhere uh, late game remaxing all depends on how much uh, Zergs are actually injecting you can't really miss an inject or else you're going to lose a wave of possible units to make. Now Cycle is letting me meet re-macro and this tank positioning by him is kind of bad. Uh, just because uh, a squadron of mutas could just come in here and wreck them. These marines need to be pushed forward a little. Also these tanks could be spread out a little bit more but it's a pretty decent spread. Uh, Corruptors are made but the greater spark isn't even halfway done yet so pretty bad timing uh, infestation the adrenal I believe it's adrenal glands no whatever the extra energy for the the infestors is done but no infestors are on the field I'm still uh, down by 10 10 in the food count armor count is actually kind of even 
Cycle is moving up, but you'll notice again he has no medevacs uh, 20 minutes in the game. He does have Thors. Thors are pretty good unless the Zerg player magic box. And then Thors lose a lot of their efficiency. I believe they uh, two shot mutas, but uh, without the magic box, they could uh, two shot like a whole pack of mutas. Now it looks like Cycle does see my army going in for it destroy the back rocks, and he is gonna siege up and destroy a lot of these. I do not know why he ran his marines into there. I think all the marines are gonna die. Uh, Banding doing massive damage. But uh, it looks like a lot of the Thors took the damage and survived, as well as the tank. So I just lost a lot of supply for nothing. Three Broodlords are on the way. All these extra Corruptors should be made into Broodlords. Because uh, I don't believe he, he even has a Starport, so he can't even produce Vikings. Uh, another Command Center on the way. That means Cycle is looking to take his fourth. Zerglings making down these back rocks. Uh, still 0 1. Cycle at 1 2. 3 3 Marines are actually really very, very strong. So, you uh, Terran players want to get to 3 as fast as they can. Ooh, a lot of Lings dying from this tank fire. And Burrowed Bane Lings. Maybe I can get all these Marines. Go forward! Go! Yes! Woo! Bane Lings are so amazing. But it looks like I didn't do it as much damage as I wanted to, and I have no links to take care of these Thors. Uh, it looks like maybe he is focus firing my uh, corruptors or my brood lords, and he is focus firing. If you don't focus fire, I believe the AI of the Thor will automatically uh, attack these um, broodlings. So you got, always got to remember against uh, using ground units against Broodlords, you have to auto uh, or manually attack. Cycle very oversaturated in his third right here. And reactor Marines, a lot of Marines being produced. Uh, a small counterattack by me, didn't really do too much. Uh, two starports are going down for Cycle, here they are. So he will be able to produce medevacs and vikings now. Income tab uh, shows me in heavy favor, but the food supply is very bad for me. Another engagement in the middle. Uh, Zerglings going in. Uh, nice fungal. These marines should be dying, but another army coming in from behind. Not the best place to morph broodlords. Uh, this is kind of a bad idea. I should have backed out. Won it faster with little energy. Broodlords are really strong, but they need some support units to take the damage for them. They're a lot like Hydras, and that positioning by me is very bad. I had to cancel, uh, pull everything back, maybe make more Broodlords. Food supply, I'm down by uh, 10 right now. Overlord probably going to go down. Nice fungal. It's weird that not all these Marines died, though. Maybe it's combat shields and... I don't know if infantry armor does anything, but combat shields does save marines from uh, fungal. Cycles fourth going down. Uh, it's weird that he hasn't produced any air units yet. Constantly producing marines. I'm getting my uh, cracklings upgraded. Fire attack as well. Ooh, nice positioning. Oh, I should not have done that. That was kind of a bad place to put my investors. Nice fungals. These marines should be dying. Uh, I don't know where all my broodlords went. Looked like they died. And hopefully, I think these investors could stave off this attack. But there's nothing to back up these investors. All out of energy. This is kind of a bad position. You need to throw down some infested Terran or something. Uh, Ling's coming in to help clean it up. 13 marines produced at a time by Cycle. Pretty, pretty nasty. I got a lot of Zerglings coming in. Probably will be able to hold this off. Infested Terran will uh, make sure that that's being held. Another push coming in by Cycle. This guy is just hyper aggressive. Need a fungal. Uh, fungal only half the marines. Another fungal. 
And he's gonna push again with these tanks. I need to reset my rallies because if you notice, all of my circles are just coming into the spot. And right now, I'm in kind of a bad position. Uh, I don't know where all my drones went. I think I uh, used them to help defend, but kind of in a bad position right now. 15 kills on this Infester, assassin style. Yeah, Zergling's dying. Uh, I am starting to make more mutas just so that I can get these tanks out of my uh, base. But now that that base is mined out, or those drones are all gone, it's my macro, my macro is probably, yeah, it slipped a little. We're about even now. Uh, even in the army, army value. Pretty even in food. Uh, this might be bad, I hope, yeah, I have a couple fungal saved up, so I should be able to handle this. Fungal! No! Oh, so many marines dying. I love it. 22 kills on this infester. Beautiful. And this infested Terran doing work on this tank. Very nice. In the meantime, he is oversaturated again in this base. He should make another uh, command center. But this, this hatchery did go down, so that means I'm off one binding base as this base is practically mined out. Uh, it looks like Cycle doesn't really know what to where to attack right now. If he attacks the bottom, he could take out my uh, ability to produce units. But if he takes out the top, I have no minerals to produce units with. So this is a really big uh, situation that a lot of people don't know how to uh, d don't know what to do because you want to take out the tech st uh, structures so they can't produce any more. But it's also if they don't have any more minerals, they can't produce anything. But you actually don't know how much is in their bank, so most of the time you want to go for their tech production building. Uh, I still have an army back here that should be cleaning this up. Uh, tank damage, doing a lot. Nice tank spread again. Uh, these infestors need to do nice fungals. Oh, those marines need to die. They throw down infested Terran or something. Oh, meanwhile, these mutas just destroyed a ton of uh, SCVs, I think. Oh, wait, only like 10. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cycle had us move all of his SCVs over here and half of them aren't even doing anything. But that does mean Cycle is off one mining base as his natural is mined out and his main is completely mined out. I also pulled drones to help defend this as my vessels were out of energy. But I did save the hatch. 37 drones left but I am still mining. I think I should be mining more than uh, Cycle. Broodlords are up. I do not know where these guys came from. <laughs> Oh, I need to set myself up another base. Oh, units caught out, caught out of position for cycle. Again, you'll notice that he has no Vikings or medevacs out, which is really odd. Notice how he has more harvesters, but not as much uh, income, and that's because all of his harvesters are just mining these small pouches. And it doesn't matter how many harvesters you have on this. Their efficiency isn't that high because only one can do it at a time. Meanwhile, mutas are roaming around the map. Should see this orbital command lifted off from the main. And should be able to snipe. Cute little ling play so that he can't land another base. <laughs> How do you have so much money? Yeah. That's what a lot of uh A lot of Zerg players feel that way, honestly. Just because it seems like Terran can ma make so many Marines and Marines are actually really cost effective unit. A lot of SCVs being transferred, meals going down, Mutalist going in for the kill. Uh, they should be able to take out a bunch of these Marine or these uh, SCVs but two Thors are being pulled. Muta should run out of there. Again nice, nice tank spread by Cycle. He doesn't have the map however so I don't believe he could see my... No, he didn't see my lings running in. Oh, nice little run around from this. And this should be a two-pronged attack. Muta's coming in from the back. Lings coming in from the front. Locking down this base. And, ooh, SCV's going down. This is a really bad position for Cycle. I don't think he will be able to come back from this. 
because he has no money he's saved up. I do have my fifth going up. Uh, SCV or uh, drones harvesting. The base does go down. Small little force gonna try to clear it out so we could remine. But uh, these lings, there's a lot of lings, so they should be able to handle it. 3 3 cracklings are really good. And yes, Cycle's in a bad position. He does have another orbital that he looks like he's moving over here. But this Overlord should be able to spot it as soon as it drops. Breaking down the back rocks just so I can get access to more safe mineral patches. A lot of times you'll see uh, players going back to the to the bases where they've mined already a lot from. Uh, usually I don't do that just because I think I like to think in the long term. Uh, Zergling did not block that. What a fail, Zergling! But um, yeah, I I normally don't do that just because I like to think in the long term. So I always want uh, <laughs> drones play a follow leader. I always want my uh, bases to be able to last for a while. Some more drones coming in to kill this base. So that's why I always try to take fresh bases whenever I can. It looks like GG, yeah, cycle GG. And I thought this was a pretty good game, both of us were random. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, please leave me any, any comments or suggestions.